1986 from director Brian Trenchard Smith. It's the end of the world as we know it, and Oz feels fine. Yes, indeed, Ozploitation is alive and well, and now available on Blu ray, courtesy of the good folks at Arrow Video. And of course, courtesy here of director Brian Trenchard Smith with his cross hybridization of Streets of Fire and Mad Max. Though minus the music, I'm barely getting beyond the Thunderdome. Dead End Driving, though, is pure 80s style and profile, all laid down with the tunes and vibe of the era, just set in a slightly futuristic setting where being a social misfit earns you a place in the government concentration camp program. A teenage couple, Krabs and Carmen, innocently pull into a large-scale drive-in in the young guy's borrowed Big Brother's super cool old-style 56 Chevy car. Whilst the movie plays out and they make out, in the back seat the car is jacked and the two wheels are stolen, leaving them stranded until the morning. When suddenly they become fully aware of the bigger picture, as the drive-in is clearly something else altogether. When it dawns upon Krabs and Carmen that the two of them are unable to leave the compound, and that the drive-in is an open lot, in fact a community for the out-of-work misfits of society, drawn together and now living together within a commune that is fortified by a main gate and an electrified perimeter fence. The reality of the situation hits home that they may indeed in fact be at the dead-end drive-in long past the main feature and into the support features for some time to come. The movie is fun enough, but not always so fantastic overall. The look and sounds of the 80s shine through though, and it's quirky enough to hold the attention throughout. But it always seems to be playing out like a PG-13 version of the class of 1984, in a near-future penal facility day camp for a teenage Mad Max. Ned Manning in the lead male role of Krabs here just doesn't have the build or stature of a rebel with a cause. And although girlfriend Carmen is an attractive enough and sassy young Sheila, you kind of wish that she would do a mid-movie Wonder Woman spin and rematerialize as 80s kick-ass B-movie queen Linda Blair with all guns a-blazing and unloading the bazookas upon the police state regime. Osploitation, punksploitation, and a little frustration overall then. But the movie looks great in HD, and the sound is as good and clear as originally intended. Dead End Drive-In is another fun enough throwback watch, well worth checking out, with a solid 5.5 out of 10 viewing review here. What is a bonus bit of fun in watching the movie though is getting to see the drive-in films playing in the background on the large screen. Look out for at least two other classic Brian Trenchard Smith action exploitation goodies in The Man from Hong Kong from 1975 which stars Kung Fu legend Jimmy Wang Yu and one of the classic Osploitation films Turkey Shoot from 1982, also known as Escape 2000 and Blood Camp Thatcher. So a lot of fun for fans of Osploitation films to spot what's playing in the background, back lot of the movie as you watch the fun unfold at the dead end drive-in. Arrow Video has done a particularly nice turn here not just with the picture quality and sound of the original 235 to 1 print used, but in the bonus material extras. A real winner is throwing in the 1978 25-minute awareness promotion film Hospitals Don't Burn Down, also directed here by the prolifically sound movie-making action exploitation skills of Brian Trenchard Smith. Hospitals Don't Burn Down is pure throwback 
attention grabbing auspotation at its best. Gritty, goodness at its finest. And it's worth the price of admission to this Blu ray release on its own. Along with the 2K restoration and other special edition contents here, elevates the whole package to a serious purchase consideration at 7 out of 10. Good stuff and very well done error video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.